We'll use a simplified illustration to look at the arc interrupting features commonly found in air blast breakers. The main features include conductors, contacts, a blast valve, arc chutes, arcing probes, arcing rings, and arcing electrodes. The air inside the breaker head is pressurized. Compressed air has a higher dielectric strength than air at atmospheric pressure. Now, the main current path in this type of breaker is through the conductors and the contacts. Let's take a closer look at one of the contact assemblies with the contacts open. The assembly includes a set of main contacts and a set of arcing contacts. Now let's close the contacts and see how the breaker works to open the circuit and extinguish the arc that is created. When the breaker trips, the contacts begin to move apart. The main contacts separate first. Arcing does not occur because the circuit is still complete through the arcing contacts. As the contacts continue to move, the arcing contacts separate, creating an arc. The arc is quickly extinguished by a number of features that work together. Let's go back to the breaker in the closed position to see what these features are and how they work. One feature is the blast valve. When the breaker is closed, the blast valve blocks the arc chutes. As the contacts separate and arcs form, the blast valve moves, uncovering the arc chutes. When the chutes open, the pressurized air in the breaker head blasts through the arcs and through the arc chutes to atmosphere. The blast of air helps cool the arcs and at the same time forces the arcs away from the arcing contacts and toward arcing probes and arcing rings. An arcing probe and arcing ring are conductors that help carry the arc away from the contacts. As the contacts continue to separate, the distance between the contacts becomes greater than the distance between the arcing probe and arcing ring. The air blast through the arc path forces the arc off the contacts and across the probe and ring. The air blast continues to elongate the arc and forces it off the arcing ring into the arc chute to an arcing electrode. By this time, the air blast has stretched and cooled the arc enough so that it extinguishes at a current zero and the circuit is opened. 